This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with animating a vector graphic to add visual impact to your presentation. And here in PowerPoint, I have my presentation on the air quality index and to give visual effect to this presentation, I've added this gauge graphic on the left and notice it fills up and then the picture on the right gets grayer and grayer to represent the smog. Because unless you've actually lived in a city with a lot of smog, you just don't realize how bad it can get. Here's a picture of what it would look like as hazardous, and I'm not making this up. This next picture is a city that went beyond hazardous, so 500 plus. So I'm not that far off with this mocked up nature scene here. And the way I made this smog effect, if I hit escape, is I simply used rectangles, I filled them gray, and then I used varying levels of transparency to smogify my nature scene, which is a word I just made up. The question is, how do you create that animated gauge graphic on the left of my presentation? And first off, you need to get a gauge graphic. For my presentation, I'm using this gauge graphic that I got from getmygraphic.com. You can either get your own graphic, create your own graphic, or get this graphic for free, compliments of getmygraphic.com, by clicking the link below this video. And you can see I've already pasted in my air quality index there on the left. The first step, once you have your graphic, is you wanna set the gradients of your gauge to the actual gradients of your index. So I'll first just Control Shift G to ungroup. These are just vector graphics. You'll then wanna select your gauge, Come up to the Drawing Tools Format tab, Shape Fill, Gradient, More Gradients. Now you want one more gradient stop, tab stop, than you actually have colors. I have six gradients to my index, so I need seven icons. So three, four, five, six, seven. You then just need to space these out. And if you have PowerPoint 2013, you can simply come to the Shape Fill. So this second green should be my first green. This will be a solid green color that everything will start from. Eyedropper, there's my green. Let's click eyedropper, there's yellow. And you just fill this thing all the way across. I'll just quickly do this until you end up with something like this. And here you can see I've spaced out my tab stops a little bit to be a little bit more realistic. Maybe I'll move this one over a little bit. Once you have your gradient set, you just close this task pane. You then wanna copy or format paint this gradient color onto all of your other gauges. So with the first gauge selected, just come to the home tab you wanna double click the format painter to lock it so you can just quickly click through, which applies that same gradient, then I'll hit escape to all of your other gauges. You then just need to come in to each of your individual gauges, format, shape, fill, gradient, more gradients. And you just need to start removing these different gradient fills. I'll just quickly do this, remove the second one. That one should remove two. This one should remove three. You just need to adjust all your other gradients and you'll again, you'll need to readjust and size these. But once you sweep through and do that for all of your gauges, you'll end up with something like this. Once you have all of your gradients or gauges set, you'll wanna sweep through and just control G to group these objects back together before we add them to our presentation. Did I get this one correctly? Control G to group, control G to group. With them all grouped, you wanna select all of your gauges you then wanna align them to the center. So from the Arrange tool, which is on the Home tab, simply come to Align, Align to Center. Now you wanna make sure that they're all aligned like this so that the back or the tallest gauge is in the far back. If one of these is not in the right place, for example, maybe you come up and this is, I'll just bring it to front. Maybe your, your, your larger gauge is in front of all the other ones. You just need to adjust these. Let's just send it to the back until they're all like that. With everything set, we'll select all of the gauges, Control C to copy, flip to our blank presentation, we'll Control V to paste them in. We wanna set them first, just once on this title slide or the first slide, then Control C to copy, and just page down and paste them in on all the other slides. This will make sure that we don't have to mess around with any aligning and positioning. From here, on each of these individual slides, you need to delete out the parts of the gauge that aren't associated with its color. So this is hazardous, 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 Move to the next slide. This one should be unhealthy. It's not hazardous yet. And you wanna just cycle through all of the slides and just set each one of these to the colors that's associated with the index. You wanna cycle through all of your slides until you have something like this. Whereas if I now flip through this in full screen mode, the thermometer grows there on the left. But next we're gonna add an animation to make this even more lifelike. Back here on the first slide, we'll select a thermometer. We'll add the animation once and then we'll apply it to all the other slides. So from the animations tab, let's select wipe. It starts from the from bottom. You can change its direction here. Let's change its duration to one second and let's change it to with previous so that the animation, if I hit shift F5, fires off as soon as we get to this slide. With the animation set, let's then copy it. So just double click the animation painter and then just cycle through your slides and apply 
the same animation to all of the other gauges within your presentation. Once all the gauges are set, hit escape to unlock the animation painter, and we have one more step to make this look even more realistic. As a last step, we wanna flip back and grab the casing for our gauge. Hopefully your graphic came with the casing. This comes with the graphic from Get My Graphic. You just wanna set this casing over the top of our animated gauge. Again, you wanna set this once here on the first slide, Control C to copy and just page up and paste it into place so that you don't have to worry about any alignment and positioning issues. And if I now run the presentation, Shift F5, Here's the air quality index, and you can see there's a thermostat or the gauge that fills up on the left as the picture on the right gets smoggier and smoggier, all the way down to hazardous. So that's a quick way you can add visual impact to your presentation by animating a gauge graphic. And you can get the gauge graphic I used, including the slides, if you wanna dissect what I did with the smog by clicking the link directly below this video, compliments of getmygraphic.com. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.